Hello everyone. Today I'm going to show you how to install the Renline Exact Fit phone mount on this 997 Turbo. This mount will fit any 997 or 987 Porsche. You'll notice that the mount itself uh, already comes with double stick adhesive and included in the kit is the mount, a magnetic pad with a lock nut on the back of it, as well as a machined aluminum ball with a screw that has Loctite on the threads already, and of course two metal backing plate options for your phone. To start, you're going to locate the, pad, the mount and the ball, and install the ball to the mount using the Loctite screw. In order to tighten these down, you can use an eighth inch Allen key on the screw and a 14 millimeter open-ended wrench on the ball. Make sure to get these good and snug and let the Loctite do its thing. Once that's installed, you're going to move around to the footwell of the passenger side on this car for the next step. Alright, so here in the passenger side footwell of our 997, you'll want to locate the leather pad that sits on the side of the radio. Just in front of that is a little carpet pad that in the US cars on the passenger side have a 12 volt power outlet in it. If you feel in the middle of the carpet pad there will be a a break in the carpet and a screw. Um, that screw is a Torx T25. So I've got my Torx bit here. Um, and you'll just need to feel around for the break in the carpet, insert the bit, and remove the screw. You'll notice the pad becomes loose almost immediately. And the screw itself will most likely stay in the carpet pad. Uh, the screw doesn't need to come out on its own, but you do need to unscrew it all the way. And once that is out, the carpet pad uh, will be loose. You can simply pull, pull it out from the front and then forward and just let it hang there. We don't need to remove it completely or disconnect anything uh, that's out of the way. Now, what we've just done is expose two more torque screws that are holding the leather pad in. These are T20s, so I'm going to change the bit here, and then you'll want to remove both of those screws as well. One lower and one upper. Alright, now with those screws removed, the leather pad is going to be free. Um, so when we push this pad out, the way we do it is we're going to lift it up from the front and push it towards the back. And try and push abruptly and evenly because we want to get all of these clips at the front of it to come loose. So just like that. And then you can kind of wiggle it free and the leather pad will come out. All right, now that we've successfully removed the leather pad from the car, we're going to take our previously assembled exact fit phone mount with the ball on it, and you're going to install it on the leather pad. I would recommend first practicing this maneuver before removing the double side adhesive. What you're gonna wanna do, the easiest way I've found to install this is to hook the bracket with the ball end over the leather on the front side without touching the double stick adhesive to the inside of the pad and kind of keeping an angle where you can hook it around that front clip right here where the cutout is in the, in the uh, material. Now as you do so make sure to keep distance between the mount and the pad and keep pressure towards the front of the pad to keep the mount as far forward as it can go. At this point, you're going to push down to adhere the adhesive to the inside of the pad. 
that was our practice run, so let's do it this time with the double stick adhesive exposed. So, going to want to hook it around that clip, keep pressure forward, and then push down and apply pressure for a couple of seconds. This double stick adhesive is pretty stout. That should be plenty. At this point, you're ready to reinstall the leather pad into the car. To do so, we're going to simply do the reverse of what we did to remove it. So line all of the clips up. Make sure it's pressed towards the radio and simply slide it back so that everything is lined up and push the clip back into place. You should hear a nice satisfying click like I did there. At this point you're ready to reinstall your Torx T20 screws in the front side of that pad. And then finally the carpet piece with the outlet on it. So remember, as I mentioned, the screw does not separate from the carpet piece. So simply slide it as far forward as you can after you've changed your bit to the T25. Slide it, sorry, excuse me, slide it as far backward as you can, lining that screw up. Find your excess hole and tighten that in there. Now just before you snug it up, you want to just kind of adjust the carpet so that it's as far back as it can go, covering up any gaps that there may be. That looks good, now we're ready to move on to the front. All right, once you've installed your exact fit phone mount into your 997 or 987, the next step is to install the magnetic pad. You're gonna do this by simply taking the two pieces apart and sliding the lock ring over the ball and then popping the magnetic pad onto the ball and tightening that lock ring. The kit will have included both a rectangular as well as a circular self-adhesive steel backing plate. These are for your phone. Uh, you can install them either to the outside of your case. If you have a fairly thin case, you can install it to the inside of the case. Or if you have no case at all, you can self use the self-adhesive to stick it right to the back of your phone. And once you're done with that, you can simply stick your phone on the mount and you're good. Note that with the phone attached to the mount, you can still have full functionality of the glove box as well as full functionality of the cup holder. So this mount does not interfere with any of the car's already useful functions.